Hey guys, it's Vi. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Drifter Challenge House number one with Kyla Drifter. Right now we have a plant sim hanging out on our lot. Last episode we were able to get an additional magic bean. We got the uncomfortable one. So now we have four of the six. We just need a embarrassed and a playful and then we have all the magic beans if that happens. So here's another plant sim over here. And there's another one over here, Emily Sykes, but she doesn't look like she's in an emotional state either. Nope. Well, she does, but we have that one already. We need a yellow or purple. So let's see if I can get him playful. Maybe we can tell him jokes or something. Okay, hurry up with your shower. He's standing over here and he's not going to come over and be embarrassed, unfortunately. <gasps> Wait a minute. What is this? Andrea's calling, and he says, so, oh, I'm going to answer this way because it's easier to read. My PC died, and there's this programming thing I've been working on. I figure I can use the machines at GeekCon to finish up, but I don't want to go there alone. Will you come with me? Um, yes. Between him and Roy, man, it's back and forth, back and forth. Um, okay, goodbye, Plant Sim Challenge, and we're going to go meet uh, Andrea here at the GeekCon, guys. Alrighty, what all is here? Let's see, we have a lot tray. Oh, we're kind of technically on Planet Honey Pop, so here's the karaoke bar that we're technically uh, on the lot for. This is GeekCon, and I want to check it out and see what all's here. Let's see, our goal is to program at GeekCon. Click on a computer at GeekCon and practice programming, which won't be too hard to do. Um, we have some people doing cosplay here. This is cool. We've got a big screen TV with, it looks like, I don't know if any of these work, but we can play video games together maybe. And there's a radio for we're dancing. We've got a section over here that's full of computers for programming, which is awesome. What is this over here? Just a table? Looks like just a table. We've got the restrooms, but that's nothing new. We have a couple, oh look at this, we have a swag stall. That's fun. So we have a swag stall and then we have a place to grab some food. And it looks like a rocket ship, and someone's going to go up in the rocket ship right here. So we have a rocket ship that's built, another one that can be built, and we have a bunch of gaming mats. And then right here we have the telescope. Fun! So she is in some desperate need of fun. So I think what I want to do is I need to talk to Andrea first. So why don't we flatter Andrea and give him a heartfelt compliment? Maybe? Or brighten his day. That would be a good one. Ooh. I hear that going off. Someone just took off. It's actually gone. Ooh, and people are building that one already? <gasps> this is exciting. I haven't really done stuff here. Let's see, what is this one? She wants to play video games, and that's fun. Can we do this? Can we, like, take this over? We can join a game of Party Frenzy. Okay, so at least she can play. I don't know how many people can play. Actually, you know what? Let's form a group because I don't think we are in one. Oh, we are. Okay, so let's do that. Let's, um... Oh, did they stop? Hold on. Wait a minute, guys! What is going on? Let's check on... Let's click on one of these and play a multiplayer game, Party Frenzy. And we're gonna play with Andrea Tepson, and that's it for now. So let's see if we can't take over this TV and play some video games together. That'll be fun. Come on. Let's do some bonding over gaming. The GeekCon challenges have begun. Head to the computers to test your programming skills in Hackathon, or use the motion gaming rig to test your gaming skills in UGT. Okay, um, I don't know if I can play UGT. I don't think I can. Well, maybe she can. Maybe we'll try that next. So we're gonna play for a little bit together. Can she talk and play with him at the same time? It doesn't look like it. She'd have to stand up, which is no. No. Oh, look at all four of them are playing. How cool. I love those interactions. Those are so cool. So much fun. What do we got going on over here? I just want to peer around at people, see what they're doing. We have somebody playing in the gaming mats. Oh, none of the computers are being used. Oh, look at that. And they're all glowy, glowy. That's pretty cool. Like the music that's playing too. Oh, look, everybody left except for the two of them. Oh, how fun. It's almost like a date. 
<laughs> Yay! Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel both of these because these were things from the last one. Um, program on a computer. And this is the insider thing, right? Tell an insider story. It is. She's gonna go up in her gaming. Yes, it is. So let's see, she just leveled up two, so now she can discuss game strategy with other Sims. Fun stuff. I wonder if there's any other activities we can do together, because she could do programming, but that's kind of a solo thing. Her fun score has gone up pretty high, so maybe I will anyways. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what is this? Listen to Space Launch. Okay, I'm going to do that because that sounds cool. And then more choices. Participate in Hackathon. I don't know how long that is, and I don't know exactly what it does. <gasps> oh, look at this. She got playful from the Party Gaming Pro from Winning Party Frenzy, Queen of the Virtual Hill. Way to go, Kylo. Is he going to come over here and program too? That would be cool. We, Our goal is to program at Geekathon, so I might as well do it. But it says to practice it. Oh, well, that works. Awesome. Listening to Space Launch worked, apparently. So does that mean that, that this one right here, we're listening to them up in space? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, guys. You know what would be really cool is to, is to get up into space. How long do we have? We have three hours. Maybe we can help them continue building together. You know, let's try that. We're not going to do the hackathon. We're just going to do this instead. I don't know what happens like if if your hackathon wins or if you, uh, the gaming stuff wins. I don't know if it's like the other one where uh, you get bonuses for your side winning, like the light and the dark tees or whatever it is from those. I have no idea, but we're going to find out, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to help her, and I think that's going to make Andrea come over here and help, too. If we can get this made, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take. We might just go up in the rocket as soon as this one comes down, but wouldn't that be cool? Acquired the rocket science skill. She can now build rockets, upgrade landing stabilizers, and explore space. All right, well, I'm going to speed three because this is, I know this takes a long time to build the rocket ship. I just hope we actually have time to finish it before this uh, geek thon is gone. Geek con. Go quickly. You know, even with my speed three, it takes a while. Ooh, guys, we're just going to go explore space. Forget making it. I want to check this out. Come on. Let's just go. It. She said she can explore space, so let's do it. Oh, that's such a cool looking rocket, too. Come on, before somebody else does it. Hold on. Wait. Stop everything. Go quickly before someone else gets in there. Go on. Go on. Oh, she's going to do it, guys. I'm going to swap camera modes because I want to watch her take off. Goodbye! Oh, how fun! Here she goes! Oh, let's see, already? <laughs> Com Commerce in deep space. What's that up ahead? Kyla cruises over for a closer look and sees a hulking old ship. It's flying a flag with a space cash symbol, which is the intergalactic symbol for commerce. It's a trader ship that wants to do business. Kyla begins the docking procedure. Alright, fine. Oh no, I didn't get to see her take off! Poop! Oh well, oh well, that's okay guys. I missed it, my bad. Oh look, that's cool. I like that right there. All right, so I guess we just kind of hang out. Let's see, the hackathon has come to an end. First prize goes to Anna Davenport with a score of 69 of 100. So they got, okay, so you do get stuff. First place got a computer. Second place got money, and third place got money. Okay. And it says, Kyla the middleman. The grizzled old trader has an offer for Kyla. Deliver some of his cargo back to Earth, and Kyla can keep some of it. She can use it herself or make big bucks selling it. The cargo bay is pretty large, so Kyla accepts the offer. Awesome. And what's this other one? She got level two of the rocket science skill. Okay, so does that mean she's coming back with something amazing? That would be really, really cool, guys. Yay! Maybe it'll be worth tons and tons of money, and Kyla can get her house. That would be very, very cool. A good day. Kyla and the trader load up the ship, and Kyla blasts away. She heads for home. It's smooth sailing, there is no traffic in the asteroid belt, and she's even getting pretty good gas mileage. Plus, she's on track for a sweet payday when she gets home. Awesome! What's my sweet payday? I just made 500 bucks. That's cool. Anything else? That's exciting. 
Is there anything else for me? What is this? She wants to order food? Fine. She's probably very hungry from her space travel. But I'm tempted to space travel again. <laughs> just because that's awesome. I just made 500 bucks. Kyla has safely returned from exploring the cosmos. Fun! Okay, go get you something to eat, Kyla. I'm gonna breed frogs, too. Let's breed this frog here. Dirt world frogs, there we go. 120 for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrea, for inviting us out. That just gave us food. Good food. Money. Good fun. Oh, and he's still working on it over here? Maybe? Yeah, he is. He's still helping to build it. What a sweetheart. Okay. Uh, we still have an hour and eight minutes until this is gone. So, Kyla, what did you get to eat? I didn't monitor. Okay, she got a veggie burger, so that's good. So at least she got the right kind of food. Vegetarian. So what is this one? We have Explored Space. Boosting Playful from the rocket ship. Who wouldn't be happy after taking a trip into space? That's true. It's happy hour at the karaoke bar. Ooh! Everyone enjoys drinks at a discounted price. And then it says the festival will end in an hour. Finish up any activities before it closes. Be sure to come back the next time the festival is in town. I will, trust me, because that's awesome. It was so much fun. Do we have time? Probably not. We probably don't have time. I wonder what would happen. I'm going to find out. Let's explore space. Because... It, like, takes the geek con. It takes little bits and pieces of it away at a time. So maybe we can get in a space exploration before all of that cancels. I'm crossing my fingers that this doesn't do anything bad and glitch my game, guys. There we go. Yay! I kind of was able to see it. That's exciting. Yay! How long does she go up? I wish it would tell you. Okay, so this is the same thing, Commerce in Deep Space. I wonder if it's kind of programmed to do the same thing if you're here at GeekCon, if it does the same ones. So, yeah, this one is the same. And I'm just speed threeing because we need to get through this real quick. Um, smooth sailing, and she just made 500 bucks. Guys, she made $1,000 here at GeekCon. Thank you so much, Andrea, for inviting us out. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Let's make a joke. Let's just talk here. Oh, wait, what was that? I saw something that I'd never seen before. Hold on. Oh, come on. Joke about rocket ship woohoo. <laughs> Argue about GIF or JIF pronunciation. That's too funny. Or help build the rocket. Well, it looks like GeekCon is disappearing, folks. Things are being deleted little by little. So it looks like this is the end of GeekCon, which means it is time for Miss Kyla to head home. Because when we go on outings, when we are asked out, we can only stay as long as the outing uh, goes. So I know that kind of technically we could hang out here at the bar and there's no timeline, but I want to keep true as much as possible. So we are going to head home. However, I might be bringing him along. So I did bring Andrea home. So we have Andrea here on the lot, folks. Um, I didn't have to bring him anybody home, but I thought I might as well. They were having so much fun at GeekCon together um, doing things and then... Um, yeah, so he's here, and we are going to put on the moves and see what happens. Nobody else is here to foil things up. Here, let's, um, they're not in a group, so I want to group us up here. Group us up, group us up, group us up, add to group. Fabulous. All right, praise the vampire lifestyle. We are going to, let's go ahead and garden together. We'll weed together, and we'll water together. And I will put on the moves again with another flirt or, oh, we'll become best friends. Okay, we're going to do this. We became best friends with Roy Harris. And I don't think it really did much of anything, but I love the interaction because I think it is super cute. And to get them both on the same playing field again, guys, I think that it's safe to say becoming best friends. Oh, look. Yay. <laughs> is a good idea. So I hope you guys approve. Comments down below for those people who were pro Andrea and not so much Roy and the other way around. You guys couldn't could not decide which one you liked better. So we're going to I wanted to romance him some more. Let's compliment his exper appearance. Tell a dramatic story. I don't want to lay it on too thick because I don't. 
We'll hug him. And one more flirty introduction. Interaction, excuse me. We will do... Uh, oh, exchange numbers. That one is super cute. So let's exchange numbers. Aww. He looks so surprised. Oh. Yay. Yeah, you guys are going to be good friends. You guys are best friends right now. That's awesome. We need to get our mail, too, because we have things to do. We can't abandon all things Drifter, can we? So she picked a bunch of flowers. So it looks like we got, let's see how much they're worth now. They're worth $6 a shot. Ooh, wow, look at that, guys. $120 worth of flowers. Fab. She bred a new frog. Okay, fine. Ooh, are you going to go eat? I think he's going to go eat some pizza. Well done, my friend. Help yourself. Help yourself. He is. He's making himself at home. That's awesome. So let's see. We need to add these. I don't think it'll add an another one if we don't have it. At least I don't think so. So here's sel Selimium. And I think it put it up there. Okay. And Wolfium. <gasps> and it put it there. Guys, look at that. We have six left and we will have that collection complete. That's just awesome because I have never, ever, ever, ever dabbled with that one. <gasps> what is this one? What a cute icon. Totally digging me from exchanging numbers. Oh, this could be the start of a beautiful relationship. I know, right? Oh, I know, right? Let's see. What are your stats like? You look fantastic. Let's just go have some fun. Oh, show off your muscles and do a bold pickup line. We really should do this. A bold pickup line. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. Let's put on some tunes. And we're going to turn it on to the new disco because, you know, it's the new thing. <gasps> did it work? I think it worked. Oh, it did, guys. It did. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Compliment his appearance because he is such a cutie. Um, We're going to just a uh, regular flirt. Oh, we should blow him a kiss. Yeah, because I think that's super cute, too. Blow my kiss. I hope you're enjoying your pizza, sir. Yay. Oh, cute. Can we do the bold pickup line more than once? I'm not sure. <gasps> First kiss. Oh, guys. We're totally going to go for it. It's working. Look at this amorous exchange. And look at this. Oh, yay. The pink bar is going up really high. Oh, what a sweetheart. He put his leftovers away. <gasps> Guys, their first kiss. Oh, cute. Oh, I love it. And he took it. That was fabulous. Oh, he has to go potty. So does she. I should probably leave him alone to go potty. <laughs> Let's, um... Kylo, why don't you come over here and harvest strawberries? Leave him alone so he can use the potty. Because he needs to go bad. He needs to go. Oh, and we got this for the first kiss. From socialization, swirling with feelings of passion and happiness after a first kiss with someone new. See, now he's going to go to the loo. And I'm going to have her come over here and pick these up too because he's not finished. He is not done yet. Let's go dig this up. Dig for treasure. We'll be coming back, I promise. I just wanted to give you a little bit of privacy. Because actually, Kyla's going to need privacy here in a second because she needs to go too. Yes. We're going to go here. Awesome. This is going so well. Oh, for all those people who were ro rooting for Andrea. Look at this. Things are going so well. That's exciting. Oh, and he's poured himself a drink. I love how he just makes himself at home here. I think that he's going to mesh very, very nicely here with Kyla. So, should we jump the gun and do things very quickly and just have him move in really quick? Or should we wait? <gasps> That's like the big question here, folks, and I never know exactly what I should do. Looks like we have someone stopping by, so I'm going to do a cheerful introduction to her because she stopped at our lot, and that's just kind of fun. So go ahead and say hello, and I'm going to have her open up this box that we got, and we got... $10 worth, so those are pretty crappy chrysanthemums that are out there. Nothing good. Uh, we got a leaf, uh -oh. my Sims trophy. $6,000. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're going to invite to stay the night. <gasps> yes, my friends. Yes. We're totally going to ask him to spend the night. That is cool. Why not? 
So we only have one bed to sleep in, and it is a twin bed, my friends. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but I don't know. Let's see. Start a confident painting. A sleepover sounds great. I know, right? We're totally gonna do it. Let's uh, pee like a champion. She needs to go to the bathroom. Uh, we're gonna stop talking. She needs to use the restroom. I queued her up to start a confident painting. She can finish it later. So they're headed out. So she started it. We can come back and paint it later, but I want her to use the loo really quick. And it looks like Vladislav Stroud is here, which that's not very cool, guys, because that's not very cool. Oh, he's sleepy. He's going to be going to bed. Look, so now this is starting to fade, and it's been quite a few uh, sim days. Um, he's going to go to bed, I think. I'm going to turn this off so we can get a few Zs. And Kyla wants to pour a drink. I'm going to actually have her come over here and daringly have a cheerful introduction to Vladislav Stroud. Might as well. She is in quite the flirty flirty. Well, she was flirty flirty. We should come back here and do more flirty flirty. Oh, we should kiss him. We should kiss that boy before he goes to bed. Oh no, he's going to bed. Oh well. Oh well, we didn't quite make it. Ooh. Trying to be creepy. How come it's negative? I think it's... I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's negative there. Okay, go ahead and resume your confident painting, my dear. Because you might as well. And goodbye, Vladislaus. Uh, you're welcome. I will never hang out with you again. No. <laughs> Actually, I like I said before, I honestly don't mind. These look so awesome. Come on, playful and embarrassed. We need those. Those are the two we need. And here's Lilith Vader, or Vittori. Hi, and you are here. I might have to say hello to you. Uh, talk about dreams. We might as well do things while we are painting. Come ahead and walk over here. You're already on my lot, basically. Ooh, we could probably breed frogs by now. There we go. Breeding the dirt wall frogs. Guys, look at our money. It's actually doing pretty good. We're at 6,000 now. That's pretty good. Pretty swale. All right, I am probably going to wake up Andrea after some stuff happens here because we need to hang out a little bit more. She doesn't have work tomorrow, does she? Let's find out. She works in, oh, she does. She works in nine hours, so I'm probably gonna wake up Andrea. Yeah, let's wake up Andrea and we'll just like hang out and stuff. What is this painting of anyways? Is it done? It is done, so we're going to sell this one. I'm just gonna straight up drag and sell, I think. Yeah, we'll just sell that for two ninety eight. Not too bad. So she's sitting here talking to Lilith. Let's go wake up um, Andrea here. Yes, don't you dare bite me. <laughs> I don't want to be drained and miserable. Time to wake up, Andrea. We want to hang out. Trust me, I will make it worth your while. We are going to kiss. Romance kiss. It was well worth you getting up for. See? Hold on. I know I have nothing on my lot. I know it. But pucker up, buttercup. Yeah, let's do some smoochy. Ooh. That's some pretty good smoochin'. Let's see. Take a picture together. And do a pickup line. We'll inspire to the cause, because I think that's something we have to do. Oh, it is completed already, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's uh, go here together. Oh, are they not in a group again? Why? Why does it do that? Add him to the group. There. Ooh. She wants to kiss him. So she's inspired to kiss. Let's kiss hands and see what happens. Oh, she's tired. I know it. I know. Okay. Oh, well, he's eating. So that might not work. What's this one? Compliment appearance. Oh, she still wants to be super sweet. Go ahead and grab some pizza too, hun. Let's grab some pizza, and then I want you to flirt with him. I want you to brighten his day. Uh, blow a kiss. Can you do that while they're eating? Well, uh, let's find out. I'm not sure. Let's see if they can. Yes. We might as well keep the romance going, guys. Yes, we might as well do that. Let me see. How long does Kyla have? She is how old? I don't know. She has 10 days until she ages up into an adult. So we need to get cracking, I think. 
because we have the toddler life stage now, so that adds a little bit of time. And I don't want her to be super, super old when we do things. Yay, that's going really well. He's got to take a shower, so let's uh, give him some privacy. Let's walk. Uh, I wonder if she can just go to sleep. Can she go to sleep? Is that too close? Let's find out. Okay. Oh, no, it is too close. She saw him in the shower. Okay, well, this doesn't work very well. Um, uh, hurry up in there. <laughs> go quickly, Andrea, because now you're really messing with things. Okay, let's go to bed, and it's my fault, guys. It's my fault for inviting him to stay the night when there was only one bed to sleep in. I'm sorry, Andrea, you had your nap earlier. I'm going to take the bed. Oh, no! Okay, we're going to try that again. Let's see if it'll kick him out. I'm so sorry, Andrea. I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, my. Well, then. You're just streaking? That's cool. You go right ahead and do that, then. All right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. He's in his nudie nudie, and now it looks like he's going to go jogging, or is he going home? I don't know, folks. <laughs> but that's hilarious. Anyways, um, I'm going to let her sleep. Oh, he's leaving. So that's the end of our sleepover. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Drifter Challenge House number one with Kyla Drifter. And I hope you come back next time because, guys, look, it says there's a rumor going around that a crazy party is happening at the chalet right now. And I am going to send her there. So at the beginning of the next episode, I will meet you there at the chalet. So thanks for watching. I want you guys to go out there and be a pineapple. Stand up tall. Wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. I'll see you guys all next time.